In this video, I'd like to show you what a real day in the life of a programmer is like. This won't be one of those videos that talks about, you know, going out to lunch or these aesthetic videos. Firstly, I'm not that type of person. And secondly, that's not really what a programmer's life is, especially one that runs a business. I'd like to show you the real day of a programmer, what I do, how I manage my time and the entire timeline of how I'm improving at code launching businesses, making YouTube videos like this and learning, reading, you know, just doing everything. So hopefully to the person watching this, you can also do the same and have a general idea of what the life is like. All right. So my day usually starts at 6 a.m. Here's where I wake up. I like brush my teeth, stuff like that. And generally it just takes some time for me to like recoup, but I like waking up at 6 a.m. And in my opinion, there is not a single successful person that is not an outlier, like not Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, and anything like that, that wakes up after 6 a.m. Most successful people that I know or have like watched videos on and talked to, they wake up before 6 a.m. or before 6.30 because it's an absolute cheat code to do. Think about it, right? Imagine someone that wakes up at like 6 a.m. versus 8 a.m. The person that wakes up at 6 a.m. will literally have 14 extra hours in a day compared to the person that's waking up at 8 a.m. It's two hours per day times seven, 14 to those math dummies. And frankly, there's less distractions. Like, like right now it's 9 a.m. and people will be messaging me, texting and stuff like that. It's just very distracting. And when I have that time in the morning, it's Perfect. No distractions, more time to myself, more time to work. Now, the next part of my day in the life, whatever this is, this is, um, is from 6.30 to 8.30. And here's where I eat the frog. Now, you're probably saying, Nazar, what the fuck is eat the frog? Do you actually eat frogs? No, I don't, dummy. I actually got this term from a content creator called Hamza. And basically what eat the frog means is let's say, right, you were told that you had to eat a frog to save your parents' life, right? Like, let's say you were in a put in position where you had to eat a live frog to save your parents' life. Okay, you, you would eat it, obviously. However, would you do it in the morning or at the end of the day? If I was a regular person, most of us would just get it over with and eat the frog as early as possible so that we can just forget about it. Instead of having it in the back of our mind that we're going to have to eat a frog at the end of the day. And so what I do after getting my coffee and stuff like that, I do the most important work of the day, the thing I don't wanna do at all. And to those of you that wanna know what I usually do, it's either some sort of coding or prepping for a software feature. So for example, a day could be like this where I have to work on the landing page or fix the landing page. And generally I'm adding features to my app, looking for ways to improve it and most of the time, it's in the code editor looking for ways to make the application better. For example, fixing a button, adding a new page, working on a search functionalities. These are things that take up a lot of time and effort. And in this two block period of 6.30 to 8.30 is where I get this stuff done. And today, actually, once I'm done this video, I'm going to be working on a live feature from Stream.io where you know you can like talk to people live. I'm gonna actually implement this into my application and it's gonna be a big headache. It's gonna be eating the frog. I don't really wanna do it, but it's the most difficult thing and it's gonna yield me the most results. And in this two hour block period where I am undistracted, no one can contact me, I am getting the work that I have to done. So, okay, we've got six o'clock and 6.30 to 8.30 done. Next up in our daily routine is 8.30, to 9 a.m. And here's where I will usually take a break of some sort, sit with my family and just rest because two hours of that break, <laughs> two hours of work is a lot of effort and especially programming where you have a lot of brain power and thinking a lot, especially when you don't wanna do something. Here's where I will just rest, maybe go on a walk, hang out with my family, drink some water or whatever it may be and just rest. Not much to talk about. 30 minutes of just break, you know, everyone breaks. So you don't really know, want to know more about it. And once I get that done from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. is where I just get back to session two. Basically, I'm just continuing what I'm doing in the first session. This could generally mean YouTube videos, ideas, or most of the time, 
is just a continuation of what I am building. It could be bug fixes because usually in the first session, if I code it a lot, there's probably some bugs that I need to fix. So generally just stuff like that. And by the way, if you think this is boring, welcome to coding, welcome to entrepreneurship and welcome to the real life. If there's one thing I know and what I preach and what we have in this community, it is that shit is boring. Shit is boring. And generally speaking, the best of the best in this world are really good at one thing. Mike Tyson is good at boxing. We don't expect him to be good at painting, right? This will make sense in a second. And to get good at boxing like Mike Tyson, whatever, like just a regular boxer, you have to do repetitive tasks. This could mean going to the gym every day, practicing boxing every day, doing cardio. It's just a small amount of things that you repetitively have to do in order to get really good at it. And in our case, okay, it's just day in and day out working on coding features and trying to add it, learning code and getting better at code, which we'll get into, fixing bugs and debugging, and using new technology in order to adapt with the times. And on top of that, entrepreneurship is even more mundane. You're just doing basic things like marketing, talking to customers, stuff like that. And if this is not for you, I'm telling you, you can go right now, you can leave this video and go watch those day in the life videos of people that are whatever they're doing, they're like going out to lunch and stuff like that. That's not a real day in the life. They're just talking about something that they're just showing you the extreme. I'm just talking about the real life things of what I do. And it's fucking boring. This is boring as fuck. But to get to this level, right? How I see it is that you just have to get really good at the boring stuff so that everything will be laid out in front of you. And coding in general is just boring. It's a lot of repetitive work a lot of the same stuff and just sticking to it is how I have been able to make YouTube videos as consistently as I have, get to 5,000 subscribers and counting, start software companies and get shit done. And that's what I hope for you as well. <sighs> but anyways, okay, once we're done here, we have done most of the work of the day. We've literally done four hours of deep work. Like it's been a lot of work. So here's where I usually take a lunch break at like 11 or 12 and Again, just take a break, eat some good food and just enjoy my time for a bit. Like there's nothing really special about here, but you know, from all this time I've been fasting and I've been tired and it's time to eat, you know, time to break that fast and just get some food in my system. And once we've done that, I will usually at 12 o'clock take a short nap, maybe until one or two. Like I'm, I'm a big napper. I, I love napping and Generally, I just enjoy the process of sleeping and resting middle of the day. It's just something my culture does and I just love it. And so after my basic nap, it's just a nap, guys. Don't, don't worry about it. I Usually at one o'clock, I will work out. A lot of us don't work out. Programmers are not seen as these big buff guys and strong people. We're usually seen as the opposite. But the gym has been a great outlet for my mind and kind of forgetting about programming like you have to be so focused and lifting weights just makes you calmer. And I think that calmness and that present moment you have while working out is so good for coding. And plus, there's no harm in getting in shape. You'll look better, you'll feel better, and you will do more work because you'll have more energy. And once our workout is done, here's the time where I will educate myself through reading. Here's where generally from maybe two to five o'clock, you could say, I will be uh, reading, or listening to podcasts and just doing basic stuff for the rest of the day. Self-education is the single most important thing you can do. I taught myself to code as a result of self-education. I've taught myself to be a better speaker and talk English and edit and anything, anything I've done in this life has come from self-education and it's come in this three hour block where I'm reading books I am listening to podcasts and I am learning new things as much as possible. I am telling you, no one does this. No one will sit down for three hours and just read. No one wants to do that. And here's where the advantage comes in for us. This thing we're building here, okay? We have such an advantage because we're so focused on our goal. And some of you and some people will call us extreme, but I just see this as an advantage and I enjoy it. I love reading. I love educating. So I don't really care. It's just fun to me. Like people like going on their phones. 
I like reading. I like listening to podcasts. I like learning. It's very addicting once you get used to it. And why I say it's an advantage, there's a quote saying that the real education starts after you graduate. However, most of us, the last book we've read or the last piece of education that we've learned was in college or high school. But how are we supposed to improve start businesses, get the jobs that we want. We are on our phones for five, six hours a day and we are not learning or improving. Again, here's where I'll generally read. After I am done this video, I will be reading this book. It's on like marketing and educating myself, just reading and educating. And finally, from five o'clock till 10 p.m. is when I will socialize. You know, the whole day we have not been socializing and that's not good. So here's where at the end of the day, I will talk to family, hang out with friends, have a good meal, and just forget about the work. You know, I like to think that I have two Nazars. One is work Nazar and one is non-work Nazar. And here's non-work Nazar. Here's where I'll just take a break, relax, and plan out what I want for the next day. It's really underrated, right? Like planning out the next day is really cool. Like it gives you control of the day. Most people don't have control of the day. Their day controls them. You know, they think, oh, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna go to work. And stuff like that. Like, that's not how you should be. You should plan out your day, okay? Plan it out. What are you going to do? Today, I wrote in my journal that I am going to record videos and I'm going to code. And if we go to our Notion template, I will actually show you when we go to tasks, you can see I wrote record three videos, prep code for videos, and authentication looks like fix the look of the authentication page. And I wrote this last night, just prepped everything so I know what I need to do. So I can just check this off. And yeah, this is the real day in the life of a programmer. This is what I've been using for five months now. And again, I'm making money with business. I've launched software products. I make videos every day. So it works for me, okay? This is just what it looks like. And this is a real day in the life, not those BS things, okay? And if you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button. And if you do wanna join our Discord server where we have the best community on, on YouTube, anywhere really, people helping each other out, starting businesses, it's just the best thing ever. Uh, I love this group with, in my entire heart. Then I will leave this in the description below. Again, it's, I know not everyone's gonna join, but if you want a community, people helping each other out with code, then I will leave this in the description below. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.